I have really bad news. I've got one singular red stripe. My boobies are huge. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey guys, what's up? It's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. So last week's video, we ranked all of my Halloween costumes. 2013 costumes all the way through 2020. And um, there were some bad ones. I'm not proud of all of them. Um, and so if you watch that video, there were multiple that were in the category of get the f off the internet because these are atrocious. So the number one request from last week's video was to give those costumes that I am uh, not so proud of another shot 2021 version and like I, I gotta be honest these are probably gonna lean more in the direction of like ho Loreween because <laughs> we're just embracing we're just embracing the 2021 brand and like these are the versions of the costumes that I would actually wear so it's gonna be a little different than how we did it in 2015. Also season two of Craftopia the first four Halloween episodes are officially streaming on HBO Max in the US and Crave in Canada and I am literally filming this right now on launch day and I have not watched an episode but they're officially out and so there's probably a bunch of you that have literally watched the episodes before me and I'm so excited to hear your feedback. So stream Craftopia and let's make these costumes less shitty. The number one worst costume hands down was the Cinderella. I still, even now after filming that video, I still have literally no recollection of when I was in a sketchy ass forest wearing the literal worst costume that I've ever seen. It's so bad, it's so bad. So like I've been dying to recreate that because I can not let that be part of my legacy. It can only go up. Like, let's be honest, the bar is on the f ground with this one. So I actually found this dress from Windsor and it is so perfect. It's like the perfect Cinderella blue. And I will say it's one of those dresses that kind of just like shits glitter and glitter is just like loose and falling off of it at all times. But it's the perfect kind of like thoughty Cinderella dress that I am absolutely here for. I've got these clear stilettos, which I want to add a little bit of glitter Mod Podge to because I want to give them the effect of them being glass slippers and also like no free feet. So I feel like if we add a little bit of glitter and like a sheen to them, it might be, you know, a little bit of a, a, a blocker to not end up on wiki feet again. The essential light blue silky gloves. And then I have, I, I like can't remember. I think she has like the light blue headband. And then I think there's a tiara on top of it. Oh my God, that just got caught in my extension so hard. It feels like a lot. This is definitely too much. This is not right. We'll have to refer back to photos. This is cute, but I kind of want to wear the tiara if we're being honest. I feel like there's not a lot of moments where it makes sense to wear a tiara in life, but this is one of them. Oh yeah, that's great. That's a vibe. We'll just keep this on for Cinderella energy while we craft here. I've got this Mod Podge that is extreme glitter glitter. So Mod Podge dries clear. I am a little nervous, gonna be honest, but I feel like these just need to have like a more glass effect because they're just like plain and clear and it's just gonna look like feet, you know? I really just hope this doesn't f*** the whole thing up. If it does, we had this moment of decision making that maybe we'll look back on and regret. So let, let's give it a, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a try. Here's the thing is that I'm also not opposed to just dumping like some iridescent holographic powder on them. We'll see how this dries and then we can make some more critical decisions if we need to do something drastic. <laughs> these dry and we'll say a prayer. Hopefully we'll be back and they are glass slippers. I have really bad news. I made up in my head that Cinderella has a tiara and I don't get to wear my tiara anymore. <sighs> really pissed about it. Cinderella goes to the club, bitch. <laughs> What an upgrade. What a freaking upgrade. The upgrade that we have currently from Lord DIY Lost in the Woods in 2014. Woo, bitch, oh my God. Okay, so the glass slippers turned out pretty good. They're definitely looking just like a little more glass-like and they've got a nice little shimmer to them. Definitely also protect like the visibility of the feet a little bit because like no one wants to see your busted ass blistered feet at the end of the night anyways. So not mad at these. The dress is cute. Got my little choker on, got my headband. It's not a tiara, but whatever. Oh, I'm so mad about the tiara. Let me just put it on and see what it looks like. Tell me that's not so cute. Tell me that that is not so cute. I can't believe she didn't have a tiara on. That is so wild. I can't believe my brain just like 
made that up. Be honest, if you wore this dress like a semi-formal or a junior prom or something, you can tell me it's fine. I won't be offended because I think it's perfect for the actual outfit itself. This is the vibe. Still not about the tiara, but I think this is actually really cute. Bitch, I'm like a walking Instagram glitter filter. I've got like some excess like booby fabric here, but we're just gonna ignore that because we Cinderella in the club. The next on the please redo, so this isn't um, tarnish my legacy, is the popcorn. So if you guys remember from the last video, I just don't even have words for how lazy this ended up looking. I did crumpled up paper that had a little bit of yellow paint on it. I need to raise the bar for myself because the DIY execution in that craft was like not okay. So last night I spent an entire movie's worth of time pom-poming this white corset. Okay, so here's what it looks like right now. I've got the whole back done. It's just like in rows. And then the front, I just have the outline. So I'm gonna do the rest of it. I just felt like we didn't need three hours of footage pom-poming this corset. And then I think I'm gonna brush on just like a little bit of yellow paint. I'm a bitch who loves a lot of butter on my popcorn, but I think for the sake of the costume, I don't want to go like too crazy with the butter. I have this high-waisted bathing suit bottom, and I also have this skinny red tape that I want to put onto the bathing suit bottom as the stripes of the popcorn container. I saw something similar on like a bagged costume, like a basic like spirit Halloween costume, but I think that we can do it cuter. I'm realizing now that the proportions of like having a shit ton of popcorn and then a tiny little container might look a little weird, but again, the bar is on the literal ground, so it can only go up from 2016. Imagine just one popcorn, <laughs> just nipple popcorn. That sounds a vibe. <laughs> popcorn boobies achieved. So I think the next step is butter. I'm nervous for the butter. Like I almost wish I had like the lightest spray paint to do this on, but I've just got some like light yellow and a little bit of darker yellow to do a butter smattering. I'm gonna start on the back, I think, just in case we hate this. Let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens. Oh no, that's good. This already looks 500 times better than the last one. That's a pretty good butter, honestly. That's a pretty good butter. Okay, let's make some thotty bottoms. Hello. This is not a Captain Underpants costume, although it definitely is giving Captain Underpants vibes. I look ridiculous. I just realized that like this will have to stretch a little bit so you can either just put it on as you add tape or stretch it across something like a cutting board. Put the hair back so we can be in full serious DIY mode. I have skinny tape. I think this is like 3M tape. So this one's probably a little bit stickier but I like the width of this scotch tape better. Oh bitch. This is gonna be great. So I'm just doing a little bit longer than it needs to be and just rolling it into the inside as well too to give it a little extra staying power. Haven't quite figured out how I'm gonna manage the back of it, but potentially for the sake of efficiency, we may just be giving you um, the front half. And obviously this doesn't have like the most insane staying power, but you can use paint. But we're here for a good time, not a long time. I'm a popcorn. <laughs> Okay, so missed opportunity to do what we did for the Joker outfit was to have like the purple boots. Like these absolutely need to be red. This would be so good. So like the same way that I just did like the knee high purple socks over top of the boots. That is absolutely the move because I feel like I'm serving a little bit of like bathing suit bottoms with these right now. But like the top is a major upgrade. Like look at this like light smattering of butter. This is a great popcorn situation. I feel like we could play around this a little bit. I feel like this is not the most flattering on my body. We talked about this, how I was not gonna do the whole side, but I've got one singular red stripe 
on the back. Oh, ridiculous. Okay, so it's not my favorite, but it's an upgrade nonetheless. And I think like the popcorn looks great. Back here, I did it so that it was like really like in a row and that looks more like a corn on the cob. But like the front portion, I feel like, actually kind of looks like popcorn. The concept for this is here. The red boots, I think would be an ad. Maybe even like a red garter over here. Like that could be fun as well too. But overall, it's an upgrade for sure. I'm not mad at it. Gumball machine. Actual gumball placement was not great. I feel like it was just too much gumball. Like, I don't know why I chose to go all the way down to the hips. Like it's just not the most flattering. Not that like a gumball machine itself is like the most like, curvaceous, bodylicious, like, shape for anyone. But I just feel like, one, we can do better there. And two, my coach is worth more than 25 cents. And that was my fatal flaw in the last one. Right over top of the coach, I put the, um, the price of the gumballs at 25 cents. It's an upgrade. We're at least $1.25 now. So I have a long line red bra. And I, again, spent a shit ton of time yesterday doing all my gumballs on the back of it. So this is a cutting board. This is like serving circus right now. So here's the front, we're gonna fill this in. Similar to Captain Underpants, it has to be stretched out when you're gluing things on so that you don't have popcorn costume effect from 2015, but there's like lots of empty spaces. So I just have some excess fabric here shoved into the inside of the bralette so it forces it to stretch. That is the absolute move or else you will regret it. Here I go, again, if I have to pom-pom another thing after today like you can bet your ass that you will never catch me in a pom-pom costume after this year because I am pom-pommed out Gumball boobies complete. This is honestly really cute. I'm excited about this. Is this gonna make me look like I have giant boobs? I kind of think so. Can't wait. What's that gonna feel like? I just picked up a red skirt off of Amazon that I can link down below. They didn't have my size that I could get quickly. So we'll have to do a little bit of pinning for this one. And she desperately needs a steam, but great color matching for like the bottom of that classic gumball machine shape and then this build is actually from the brass costume that i did last year but i feel like it's a fun just like nod at the metallic base of the gumball machine she's having a glam gumball moment and then we're not gonna f this up here's my little gumball dispenser that's gonna be on the waist on the waist and not the cooch and i've decided due to inflation we are now 75 cents maybe next year will be you know a dollar a dollar 25 there wasn't like a cent sticker so i'm just gonna use a lowercase c and then trim down this lowercase l to put like the little slash through it a true diy moment 75 cents baby that is the price of the cooch for 2021 this one is so cute this is for sure a, a more substantial upgrade than the popcorn i will say i almost died getting this on because there wasn't like a corset like bra fast or a zipper or anything. Almost lost all of my extensions in the process, but here we are. Boobs look great. Wow! My boobies look huge. Oh my god. Oh my god. Big moment. 75 cents, y'all. Going on the belt buckle. And I am... Oh, I am... For sale. Oh, that is so much better. Like, my pure... 19 year old, now see that my brain wasn't even that pure. So like, I don't even know why that didn't come to mind. This is so much cuter. Like genuinely gonna add this to my costume collection because it is cute. Big fan of like the, the Bratz belt. I think it's like a good little collar for the middle. This is cute. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with them. This is really, really cute. And here's the final look. She is cute. She is for sale. She is price for inflation. My tiara is back on. If I go with Cinderella this year, catch me with a tiara on for sure and just just move along. Like this has kind of shattered my childhood, I think. Like my image of Cinderella is only with a tiara. Anyways, hate that for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to stream Craftopia season two on HBO Max and Crave in Canada. I potentially have something super exciting for next Sunday's video. I'm currently bullying people over email to make sure it happens. So uh, say a prayer and I will see you next Sunday.